Hi guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Today I'm going to scrap out an old clothes dryer just to show you what value you can get out of these things and a couple of extra things I do with them uh, which makes them a little bit better to pick up than perhaps your average white good. So stay tuned, I'll pull it apart and we'll show you what the go is. We'll start on the front section. Uh, just pull out all the screws you see and then we'll do the rest of it from the rear. So I've pulled off everything from the front. Um, don't forget the screws behind the control knob there and also the door switch because if you get everything off from this side now you won't have to turn it back over again. Now some dryers, this is the top, some dryers have uh, a removable top panel. I mean all makes are different but I like to try and keep the box um, complete so I'll take the back panel off now and we'll basically gut it. Okay, that's all the screws out that are holding the top panel, I mean the back panel, sorry. So we'll just open her up now. Now for those that haven't seen inside a uh, clothes dryer, it's not the washing dryer combination, it's just a simple clothes dryer. Very, uh, very minimal works. You've basically got a motor, an electric motor, and it belt drives around the big barrel in there. And on the back is a heating element. So we'll pull this main section apart next, and then pull the motor out. So the barrel lifts out very easily um, and something of interest with this dryer and probably a good reason why you shouldn't buy secondhand dryers is there's a large buildup of lint in the cabinet and if we look at the heating element which actually had blown which is why it was thrown out but I'd say this dryer wasn't far off from starting a fire so there's something to um, be aware of Anyway, that part's come out very quickly. Um, there's just a little bit of wiring loom in the switches and the electric motor, and we're pretty much done. All right, in no time at all, we have an empty, basically an empty tin box. Uh, we have the barrel. There's the back of the box. Uh, and on the table here, we have some, uh, some good mid-grade wire, electric motor, small pile of rubbish and the larger plastic bits if they're clean I put them in the recycle bin uh, I believe most recycle facilities can handle ABS plastic um, but you have to have them clean uh, but that's fine I pull all the screws out and put them in a, a tub and together with springs and bolts and other things and I've um, explained on other videos how I get a bit of extra value there uh, a little bit of stainless steel the switches I'll throw in a jar and get some value there. Uh, the timer mechanism, if you can be bothered, you could pull it apart for silver contacts, electric motor as well, or else just throw it in the pressing steel. Um, a little bit of heavier steel, I always keep that separate because anything thicker than 3mm, um, you'll get a lot of weight and it can go to the scrap yards as, uh, as heavy steel and you'll get twice what you get for pressing steel. Uh, just a small pile of pressing steel there and and the large heating element which again is basic um, low value steel. So now why I kept the box intact is that I'm going to use it for stacking all the pressing steel back in. So I always put the uh, large heating plate over the hole at the front and when I finished filling this and they're great for um, for keeping neat and tidy and storing just all your tangly bits of, of iron, like steel light bits, uh, a bit of like wire rope and brackets and all the light gauge stuff that gets in the road. And if you're taking a load of that to the scrap yards in a van or something, it all tangles together. It takes you ages to pull it out for really bugger all value. Um, but I use these dryer containers and I stack it all in and I'll just go and show you a few that I've already done. Here's one that I've just finished and all I need to do now is to put the back on it and I do um, I do keep this, some screws handy basically I'll screw that down um, and here's a few that are already full and stacked now they do make it really easy to store your pressing steel um, out of the road and it's neat and tidy and they stack really well on the trailer I can actually get 12 of those uh, dryer bodies neatly on the trailer 
it's almost like just stacking bricks and uh, and they do weigh a bit they add up and I've put old lawnmower um, housings in there and all the stuff that that tangles when you try and stack it for low value now I just weighed one of these and it weighs out at 90 kilos so I can manage to load it on my trailer um, but they're quite heavy but if I get 12 of them on the trailer and they average around 90 that's uh, that's about a ton of steel so that means if I'm running that down to the scrap yards at the moment there's about a hundred bucks worth and uh, it really just it's going to pay for the trip and until I've got a load it looks neat stacks neat keeps out of the road and I think it's just a good way of handling stuff that that is low value and is sort of messy to deal with so that's why I like dryers um, and also you can use microwave bodies for smaller stuff as well and it just makes it easy and a lot less labor intensive to uh, take a load to the scrap yard now I've got a fair drive to get to my local yard um, it's an hour or so down the freeway so I don't want to run in with only like 20 or 30 bucks worth of steel at a time so this way I will save it up until it's convenient and I can then top the load off with some better value cast alley or um, a load of copper or wire or something in the ute so I've got a trailer to pay my fuel and uh, the rest of it's the rest of it's all good cash so that's what I do that's why I like picking up dryers um, we'll go back over and have a look at what was left out of the other one so those of you that are paying attention would realize that I haven't mentioned this barrel um, I don't put that back in for pressing steel I actually sell those and people buy them for a, a whole range of reasons they're not super heavy gauge they're quite light but um, I've sold them for fire pits even though they'd burn out fairly quick I've sold them for people um, you know, wanting to plant out plants in their yard uh, I've sold them for um, <clears throat> little chook laying boxes so there's lots of lots of people with good imagination that will buy these I only get five bucks for them but you know that's a lot better than probably 50 cents worth of steel so there you go we've processed the whole dryer um, in really quick time I did this in about 20 minutes and I did have to run off and find a few extra tools if you were set up and had a few dryers to do you'd knock one over in 15 minutes so um, I'll weigh up what scrap we've got too so you can see what value we'll get out of this um, the electric motor you could possibly pull apart for the copper and the cast aluminium brackets or just sell it as is but I'll weigh them up and we'll get a, a final total from this one dryer job here we go you all know that I like uh, notepads so a quick list here of what we got out of this dryer you can see that the scrap value is mainly in the electric motor um, the pressing steel um, didn't add up to very much of, of course and I think currently it's about 10 cents a kilo um, the wire 300 grams of wire um, that does add up quickly when you start scrapping out a lot of things and the drum as I said to get five dollars so almost ten dollars return on the dryer and as I said you can knock one of these over pretty quickly say 15 minutes or so so that works out at a pretty good hourly rate if you get dryers dropped off regularly um, but I like the convenience of um, of the container for storing the pressing steel as I've explained so they're worth a bit more to me for that value because that's the system I'm working with and also I didn't mention in the list here uh, all the little extras the the tub of screws uh, the switches and uh, that does div give me a good return uh, while I'm scrapping a lot of stuff that does really add up quickly so there you go that's my take on clothes dryers I always like to pick them up and uh, I hope you got something out of that and I'll do some more scrapping videos as things come along and as the uh, my motivation keeps me going so thanks for watching look out for me in the next video bye